Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss some of the expected features in Odo 50. Now in inventory module, you can see there is a new view for inventory adjustment. So when you click on inventory adjustment, you can view the adjustment entries for each product. You can view the on-hand quantity. Okay. And you can set, click on set to update the common quantity. And after that, you can reset or click on apply to apply the changes. So from here, it's also possible to uh, update the schedule date. And for each entry, you can also view the history. So you can view the adjustment history from here. You can see the updated date. Okay. And you can create a new adjustment entry by clicking on create button. And here you can set the product for which you are making adjustment. And when you try to update an existing record, you can see a message shown. You try to create a new record that already exists. Uh, that is, the existing record has been modified. So the existing record is modified. If you try to create, that is, same record again. Okay. Okay. Then now in order 14, you can see a new improved import option. For example, if I open products, okay, here you can see product records. So let me export some records from here. So we'll select export format. Okay, let me add external ID. Mm, so I can update the record data. Okay, click on export and save it. Okay, so after updating the file, you can import records. So when you click on upload file, you can upload the changed file so i'm opening that file okay so you can see the import file page uh, the view has changed so here you can see for each field um, you can see icon is given you can view the comments Okay, now you can see error below here. And when a value cannot be matched, you can see here an error, no matching record found for the field responsible. So here you can see some other options like when the value cannot be matched, you can prevent import or skip unknown values or create values. So there are a lot, lot of changes made to inventory now that is import. So a lot of changes is added to is been added to in both page. Okay. Now let's move to our inventory report. Okay, so here you can view this view the spreadsheet of report. So you can click on insert in spreadsheet to insert this report, regular report to spreadsheet. OK, 
okay now in order 15 you can see an option that is uh, spreadsheet support real time collaboration so here we can view the number of users uh, okay now let me come back to reporting okay now let's take the case of sales so in order 15 Now it's possible to edit the graph view using Studio module. Uh, so first of all, we have to install Studio from Odo App Store. Uh, the module need to be installed and we can view this icon Studio. So now it's possible to edit the graph views using the Studio. Okay, so let me go to Sales Reporting. So here you can click on the studio icon and it's possible to change the graph view. So here you can you type, you can sort it by dis in descending or ascending order. You uh, can use that graph, access record from graphs. Okay, now we can save it. So when you close it, you can see the updated sales analysis report. So that's all in this video and thanks for watching.